Hello Jupiter! As you can see, we are only 30,000 miles away from Jupiter right now. By we, I mean Juno, the spacecraft. I'm really far from Jupiter, you wouldn't want to be that close to Jupiter anyway. But, so far everything is going as planned, we have just entered the spin-up phase and uh, after a few minutes it's going to start to burn the jets to get into orbit and perform all the maneuvers necessary. But right now we're not going to get a lot of data in because all the instruments have been turned off to protect them while Juno performs these various maneuvers. So we'll have to wait until the burn is complete before we can actually get any data back to Earth. We have switched to a low gain antenna, so it's broadcasting on a higher range, but we're not going to get as much data or as much in-depth data. It's just going to be basic tones for beginning and end of maneuvers. For those of you who are really excited about this and you want to follow along, NASA have a very nice app that you can use which is what we're looking at. It has the entire timeline for Juno from the very beginning to uh, the end when it reaches the South Pole. And uh, it gives you the velocity relative to Jupiter and Earth. The orbit insertion which is going to happen in 17 minutes so it's a really exciting time. And it also gives you the burn time, the distance to Jupiter, and uh, it has really cool visualizations. Now this is a simulation based on the scientific data that NASA have at hand. So you can actually take a look at things like the interior of Jupiter, the radiation field, Jupiter's rings, the auroras, I mean it's all really nice. And it's interactive, you can uh, pan around and look at different objects. You can check out the magnetic field. You can even move to different nearby objects like um, where's Io. Forget Io, let's just move to Europa. So there you go. And uh, you can see where Juno is relative to all the nearby objects. As you can see, there is Juno. So it's a very well designed app and if you're as curious about this as I am, you can follow along too. I will be posting some more videos and updates once we actually get some data back from Juno. Right now we just have an audio recording. I don't think we have any of the high resolution imagery yet because we're still using the low gain antennas. Um, but once Juno enters the orbit, I think we'll be able to take some high resolution images. And once those are out and we have some findings, I will make an updated video on that. But until then, you can follow along just as I'm doing. I'll show you how. So first of all, you need to visit this website, eyes.nasa.gov, and then you need to download the app. And once you have the app, you just have to click on Juno and uh, you should get the visualizations. I think this app is available for both OS X and Windows, so you should have no issues getting started. Just 14 minutes to go now for the orbit insertion. And if you're like just aware of this and you want to see how this entire thing happened, you can actually go back and uh, you can see the entire approach simulated. There we go. So you can see Juno as it approaches Jupiter. And if you want to go back to the real-time system where you want to look at where it is right now. You can click on now and there we go. We haven't been to Jupiter in a long time and there's so much we can learn about it. About how it was formed, the solar system, we still don't know how whether or not it has a solid core. Now keep in mind there is a lot of risk involved in a mission like this as well because um, 
radiation is really bad near Jupiter. Then we have all this debris, Jupiter's rings, and um, you know several things that can just mess up. Jupiter is a very extreme environment, not to mention the storm. So going near Jupiter is always a risky endeavor. But I'm sure NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab team have done the best that they possibly can to make sure that none of this affects our mission. But there is still scope for things to go wrong. So I think once it enters orbit and takes those images, everyone's going to be relieved. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching. This is Leo. Please subscribe to my channel for more such content. I know it's very diverse right now. I just had a game review of Doom and now I'm doing this. So, you know, that that's just how I am. I have all these different interests and um, I think there's something for everyone here. Let me know what you guys want to see on Seemly Leo and give me all your suggestions and feedback. I would really love to hear your thoughts on all the things that I'm talking about. So that's going to be it for this video. Have a great day here on Earth. Well, hopefully Juno will have a great day at Jupiter.